when the DMK and the Congress fell apart, and your Prime Minister at that time, Dr. Manmohan Singh, came out and expressed regret for those raids. So are you suggesting that the CBI always keeps the executive and the high and mighty in government in uh, complete confidence before they actually go out and raid, number one. Number two, Dr. Singhvi, the point is not that. The point is whether Rajendra Kumar, a tainted official, etc., should have been appointed in the first place by a chief minister who is committed to fighting graft. Because someone here on the show said that you are judged by the company you keep. Uh, Rahul, 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 uh, let me uh, make short shift of your second point. It's ridiculous to suggest that if an officer is raided in 2015, you must go after the appointing authority of 2008 or 10. I think that's carrying things a bit too far. Appoint officers are appointed in good faith. If they are guilty or not guilty, must be judged on the facts of a particular case and not by the appointing authority. But your first point is, uh, let me deal with more directly, I think it's important that in 18 months, the general perception and feeling across the country is that this government believes in acting out of malice, out of political antagonism consistently. We have a list from booing Huda, the Chief Minister Huda, by hired BJP persons to the Vaghela and the Birbhatra incidents. That was said about, so that was also said about, that, that was said about the Congress. That was said about the Congress by our allies, strengthened. by our allies Mulayam Singh and Mr. Karuna Nidhi. No, no. It was never. That's no, the that point. No, that was said. That you was said. It was on record. Can you I may go? have had a few exceptions. No, not no, a few you exceptions. Have, you no. may Mayavati. have had a few exceptions. Mayavati. The Congress has never acted in a concerted DMK. manner. DMK. You are yourself. You are yourself making the point valid that the Prime Minister himself spoke out. Dr. Manmohan Singh, you yourself gave the example. The Supreme Court called the CBI Mr. cage Modi parrot under your watch. You have yourself GBN Nasimara your wants point. to respond. You have yourself do. You are your. You have your. I, so you are not expanding every I, minute I, as I am speaking. Now, case I parent think the is, a different, party, uh, is a different the, issue. I am only answering that we did not have this reputation of a consistent action like that. I have no. six quotes from some of your allies and other opposition leaders, Rahul, so I can read them out to you. Uh, Rahul, indicting the Congress for being similarly vendetta driven. I have them here, sir. One minute. Let me bring in GBR Narsimha Rao first. Quick response. Yeah, Rahul. I think the Congress party conveniently forgets that all the cases against their own leaders, actually, be it, be it, Dr. Be it Virbhadra Singh, Vaghela, and even Ms. Chidambaram, all these allegations were leveled when they were in office. I think they could not even explain them. Virbhadra Singh was to be eased out of office as a minister in the central government for the same allegations for which the CBI has investigated him recently. And Mr. Chidambaram had to really uh, 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 plead in the parliament to claim that none of his family has benefited from uh, any of these deals when the facts perhaps spoke otherwise. I think all these, all these cases predate to their own era, the scam era of the Congress party. And, and these investigations also began during their tenure. We have not instituted any investigations into these cases now. These have been going on from that time onwards. And the Congress party trying to sound like an angel when they actually put opposition leaders in jail, be it Jagan Mohan Reddy, be it Chautala, be it Jailalita, as recently as a, a year ago, a couple of years ago, I think Congress party conveniently has used CBI as a, as a tool in its own hands. We have really maintained an arm's length. CBI does not really take these, even the search warrants today were issued by a court of law and the Congress party uh, uh, seems to have problems even with the functioning of the courts in this country about, over whom we don't exercise any kind of uh, influence. Okay, Dr. Singh, we are quick response to that really before I a bad bring back the a sad party commentary into of this. the Congress party that they are actually even the taking on the courts of the country. That. Dr. Singh, he has mentioned five out of the six people on my list. Well, 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 well. When, when, the, when, the, uh, when Dr. Swami files criminal complaints, he is not a court of the country. He is a senior member of the Central Executive Committee of the BJP. When the finance minister of the country makes remarks on the merits of the case day in and day out, he is not the court. He is prejudicing the investigation under his own ministry. When the chief minister of Haryana 
Mr. Khattar proclaimed that Mr. Vadra will be in jail within six months. He is the head of a state whose prosecuting agency is supposed to fairly prosecute Mr. Vadra. So there, let's not let's not talk of animus. You have had several examples. I have uh, given you seven eight examples. The view is clear. If you do not tow the BJP line, just now what happened today in uh, Arunachal Pradesh? That's another example of well, how sir, you can subvert. It's amazing what two years can do. Just it's amazing a, how things change in two years. Is, the same BJP was making that charge against the Congress today. The Congress is making that charge against the BJP. But hang on, this is not a BJP Congress fight. Let's get back to the substance and the sum of this issue. And I want to go back to Kiran Bedi one minute. Mr. Kejriwal says that had the CBI been keen, Ms. Bedi, on exposing the truth, then instead of raiding his office, the agency would have actually raided the IT department. They would have raided the IT department, the education department, or the VAT department, where the Babu had allegedly committed these misdemeanors. Why the CBI's office? Manu Singhvi says, why the CBI office? Why the CM's office? Why the CM's office, ma'am? Let, let, I think the point is he should be, that means now he should say, I offer you, go and raid education, go and raid VAT. I think leave the investigation to investigation. CBI is a very responsible organization. Secondly, it is accountable to the courts. It's accountable to the courts or whatever. They've come with a warrant from the courts. They're going to go back to the courts to let them know the process of investigation. So let them work. But the point is he's protest, protesting the very first step of the CBI. So would he now say, why have you, then the moment they go to education or elsewhere, they'll say, they're so, totally sabotaging my government. So he, he is, instead of saying, thank you for what you've done, he's saying, why haven't you done the following? So instead of appreciating what they've done, he's looking at what they've not done, which they may have yet to do. What they may have yet to do, Mr. Bharti, that's the fact of the matter, Mr. Bharti. That's the fact of the matter. Be thankful that an officer with uh, a record that is not so clean is being exposed. Dr. Sambit Patra also joins this debate. He's listening very keenly to the point you're making. Dr. Manu Singh is there, KTS Tulsi there, Pavan Varma there, Kiran Bedi there. Now you need to answer, sir. Let me, let me. You need to answer. Let me first. Don't dance. Don't make us dance around like you've been doing for the last 25 minutes. Answer let the me, question. Let me, let me first congratulate Mr. JBL the way he was defending the corruption charges on Jalalita ji and Chautala. Just like perhaps, sir, people, people will say that you are defending. That Congress, you are defending Congress, a senior bureaucrat and a serious okay. allegation of corruption. No, no, once again, I'm not defending anybody. Case, no, please, you are. I'm not defending anybody. You I'm conceded. only saying. I'm only saying. I'm only saying. And I want to. I want to ask uh, Madam Kiran Bedi that is she justifying? I don't, I don't understand that how come she can use the words which she used just now. The CM office, she has been, high, she has been a senior bureaucrat herself. CM office is not the storehouse of files. 2007 wrong, 2008 wrong uh, concerning files will be in, in their respective departments. CM house does not possess files beyond 10 days or 15 days of need. Uh, the files of these departments, bad department, IT department, education department are supposed to be bound in their respective departments. Well, sir. What was CBI doing in raiding a CM office? If bureaucrat is wrong, Dr. prosecute Patra. him, hang him, take him wherever you want to take him. Dr. Patra. But doing politics in the garb of one officer corruption charge Let him come and to trying to take away DDCA files because one of your senior ministers is going to be uh, 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 involved in this uh, possibly. So, don't do such no, possibly People are watching you closely. Possibly, tendentiously, what are you trying to say? Okay, Dr. Patra, quick response there. Quick response. Uh, no, Rahul, I don't understand as to what's happening today. I mean, a very 
te technical issue has been changed into a political issue. I mean, look, there was a complaint against this particular officer who is a private secretary of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, a senior IS officer had made this complaint way back six months ago, 13th of August 2015, Mr. Ashish Joshi sent letters along with some evidences of a scam worth 50 crores to the CBI and to the ACB. Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has always postured that we want to fight against corruption. Agar mera beta bhi hoga, agar meri beti bhi hogi, agar mera mantri bhi hoga, kisi ko nahi chhodenge. These are the exact words that Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has always used. So today, when he got an opportunity to investigate upon his own secretary, why should he shy away? Why is he converting into a missed opportunity? I mean, look at the body language of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, look at the aggressiveness of all the uh, spokespersons of the Aam Aadmi Party, the Deputy Chief Minister who is uh, otherwise never so aggressive. And that's the reason as to why we are forced to think Though this was all about Rajendra Kumar, is there some connection between Rajendra Kumar and Arvind Kejriwal that Arvind Kejriwal is forced to come to our front foot and defend Mr. Rajendra Kumar? Interesting. What is it that Mr. Rajendra Kumar is hiding for Mr. Rajendra Let Kumar? Let me ask the other panelists. Let me ask the other panelists on this particular Sir, question. Patra, one second. No, one second. Mr. Bharti. We are only saying the Mr. way Bharti your one CBI second. has raided CM office no, no, has one second. Mr. brought Bharti, down the reputation of the constitution no, no, and let's the country. No, no, let's take it point by point. Let's take it point by point. Please, Mr. Bharti, I implore you. One minute. Let me first bring in Dr. Do Singhvi and then Mr. Tulsi. Dr. Singhvi, has Kejriwal lost an opportunity to crack down on graft? Charges have been made against this individual for at least six months. A case was brought to the attention of the authorities by an individual who was part of a panel set up by the Aam Aadmi Party, the Delhi Dialogues Commission. You have that, prima facie. Secondly, on the 9th of December, the ACB has raided, or has, uh, has actually questioned this principal secretary in question. Should he not have been removed earlier, Rahul, Dr. Singhvi? Rahul, uh, I, have made it, I, have made it, I have made it clear that no one should hold a brief for, the, for this officer except himself. And if there's the slightest culpability, he should face his just deserts and neither Mr. Kejriwal has any business to speak about it, nor anybody else. That is why I said that my limited intervention is about the clear perception that there might be an oblique motive, along with Rajinder Kumar, to go against the CM. No, but you are not talking, Dr. Office, Singhvi. Because he is antagonistically opposed, because that is the perception. But you are not addressing spread. another point. But Rajinder Kumar, I have no brief for, and I think he should be hanged. No, but, but you are not equally, But you are not equally, addressing equally, another Rahul, point. I have said. That uh, by Mr. Kejriwal acts and omissions. No, no. By conflating politics with a probe. Because he has, he has been. He. No, no. By conflating politics with a probe. Aren't you uh, also just a, ending up? Give me half a second. No, aren't you Kejriwal also ending up? has been conflating. Kej, Kejriwal ji has been conflating these issues all the time when he was in opposition, and today the boot is on the other leg. He has been calling. For knee jerk extreme reactions like raids and arrests every time anybody sneezes. He has done it for central cabinet ministers, for Delhi former chief ministers. Well, I'm glad. And today, therefore, that hypocrisy also deserves to be exposed. Yes, when the and that's on what the other leg, to. He is now crying a different Mr. Tulsi. So I'm, I'm very clear on both the fronts. Mr. Yes. Mr. Mr. Tulsi, the boot is now on the other foot, and Mr. Kejriwal is not liking it on the point that he could have actually seized this opportunity, made it an opportunity to clean up his own act and his government. Has he lost it? That's the last point. That's the last point we were debating. Come back to that point, Mr. KTS Tulsi. You see, firstly, I feel that Mr. Kejriwal has displayed unbridled hostility towards the central government and, and used unparliamentary language repeatedly about uh, other constitutional functionaries, including the Prime Minister. And it is this which has resulted in lowering the esteem of, his, of the office which he holds. But I also feel that the nub of the question is, what was raided? Was it the office of Rajinder Kumar raided? Or was the office of the Chief Minister raided? We don't know what the truth has yet, but there will be definitely sufficient electronic evidence to establish what, yes. what really happened. The truth will be out soon. And if the Chief Minister's office was raided, then the whole question is of timing. And it raises several constitutional issues. 
because you can't just threaten every chief minister in the country. But we don't know, sir. What kind the of federalism has come out we and have? said the office okay. of the chief minister was not raided. That no one entered the office of the chief minister. Dr. Patra is raising his hand. He wants to come in. I want to answer this. Yes. Well, Mr. Kejriwal claims the. See. The, can, can I please answer this, Mr. Tulsi? I mean, Mr. Tulsi and some of the Staff Army Party spokespersons have been raising the issue whether one the one office of the Chief Minister has been forced to enter and has been searched. Ju just a second. All just a second, sir. Let me please complete. Number one, Staff Rahul, we have seen right from the morning from the U turns and the flip flops of Mr. Kejriwal and his whole army of spokespersons. Mr. Kejriwal, in the very beginning, came out and said that my room has been entered and uh, uh, CBI has raided my room. Thereafter, they amended the sentence saying that even if the private secretary's room was entered, which is in the slave floor, that means that the chief minister's office, which they abbreviated as CMO, the CMO has been uh, transgressed. This is absolutely opposite to what they had said in the morning. That means the Aam Agni Party does not have uh, any kind of evidence to the fact okay. that the Chief Minister's may office I, was raided. Rather, I, they know I the truth. We'll take rebuttals. Uh, Rajendra just, Kumar, we'll take rebuttals. And let me tell you, Pavan Verma will be in the debate and we'll take rebuttals. Such is the proactivity of the Aam Agni Party. We'll take a if short anyone break. would have come near, Gentlemen, if any... A if short anyone break would have come point. near to the chief minister's room, then Mr. Arvind Kejriwal would have sued, would have sued the CBI by now. Okay, sued the CBI by now. We'll take rebuttals from Bharti as well as uh, Mr. Pavan Verma right after this short break. We are returning in three minutes. Stay with us.